Hi there, my name is Rajat and this is my second video. It's sort of an update video on my on the basis of my first video. So in this video I'm gonna be talking about what I have done since I came back from the US back to India. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I link down below my first videos link so you can like get a sort of story what I'm talking about. So let's begin. My story, it began from 19th January. Uh, I told my professor that I was not going to be enrolled in the university for the spring semester on 14th January, I think, 14th or 15th January. So after that, um, I was thinking about like, I have finalized what I'm going to go, I'm going to do something good in India when I go back. So I enrolled into a couple of courses on Udemy and, Ud and Udacity. So the first thing I did was I enrolled in Udacity's full stack web developer course because I was kind of interested into, um, into web development. So I thought that it would be really good to get a good start before I go back. So that thing started on 31st January and so I came back to Indore and then on, from 2nd February I started that course. So in that course uh, I have so far covered up, it, 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 it's in three parts, so I've completed the first part. Now the part that's remaining is all about GitHub and how to upload your projects on GitHub and then how to set up your server, your backend, databases, how to link them up and then make a complete website. So I have done, I'm done with the front-end part, now I have to do the back-end part and how to combine those things together and have a project ready. So I have done one mini project and one big project that's a front-end responsive website. That's the first thing I did. Then the second thing, a really good thing happened with me was that uh, on 19th January, I also submitted an application for Google, for Google India Challenge Scholarship for the front-end web development. So a funny thing happened with me is that when I came back to India, I forgot about it, okay? So I totally forgot about it and on 7th February, I got an email from Udacity saying that I was accepted for it and this was my third attempt to get that scholarship. And following that, so in the front-end web development course, I have so far completed my HTML and CSS part and I'm halfway through the JavaScript thing. So if I do really good in this course, I'll get an additional scholarship for the complete front-end web development course for a six months course. So I'll link everything below about whatever I'm talking about so you guys can check those courses out if you are interested. Now about the third thing that happened with me was that uh, on 19th, on 19th February, yeah, so I applied for another course. I want to learn Java and work algorithms and data structure with Java. So I also applied to Coursera for financial aid for this course. And that course involves Java programming from the basics to software development, testing and everything. So I got accepted into that too. I got financial aid for that. It's actually five courses. I'm done with the first course almost. Now I have four more courses left to go. I think I made a good decision coming back to India. But you guys won't be seeing this video before July or August. I don't think so. I'll be uploading this video prior to that. So this is my story so far. And I think I'm on a good track. I need to fo focus more, but I think I'm on a good track and I'm gonna complete these things really, really quickly. All right, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.